Okay, let's talk about this uh, form factor of this uh, DJI SPV goggles and the uh, Fat Shark Dominator HDO. So let's start with the distance between the lens and the screen. I roughly measure the distance. The distance uh, between the um, lens and the screen for the Fat Shark is roughly from here to here. And for the digital SPV goggles, it's up to here. So it's roughly about another centimeter or so further away from the lens in this goggle than in this one. So this is about 400 and something grams and this is 200 and something grams. So this is roughly around 200 grams heavier than this Fat Shark goggles. In terms of the structure or the casing of these goggles, you can see that this is slightly bigger, much, much bigger than the casing for the Fat Shark HDO. In relation to the straps, this is a more elastic straps and it goes over your head and around your head and this is just around your head. So this form factor accommodates people wearing glasses and also diopters. This one doesn't accommodate people wearing glasses, it's just the diopters. So let me first discuss about my experience in using this DJI FPV goggles. I noticed that when I put this over my head, it doesn't feel very heavy. I think it's because of these flexible straps. When you put it over your head, these flexible uh, straps will then be stretched by the goggles in front of your face. And by doing that, your head acts like a, a support, like a fulcrum. And this one just hangs over your head. So in that um, sense, Probably your head is the center of gravity and this one just hangs over it and it doesn't put too much uh, strain on your head whereas the strain is taken up by the elastic straps. With Fat Shark goggles, the straps are around your head, uh, behind your ears and at the back of your head. You are basically strapping these straps straight onto your face and you have to strap it tightly otherwise this will fall off. So you're putting a lot of strain on your face and your head. And this nose area is quite small whereas this nose area is pretty big. It can accommodate a lot of uh, different shapes of nose, noses. So when I have this over my head, I don't feel that it's straining my head on my face and I was able to comfortably wear this for roughly an hour and the only thing that was affecting me in wearing this any bit longer was straining my eyes too much looking at the screen. So in terms of weight and over your head type of uh, feel, this is much better than this one and I also find that because of the distance between the lens and the screen, because this is longer and this is shorter, um, you have a better and more comfortable view of the screen. Whereas this one feels like it's too near to your face. Mm -hmm. This, um, I think you probably have some kind of experience where you put something very close to your face and you can't see very clearly. So you have to push that thing further away from your face, from your eyes so that you can see it clearly. Similarly with these Fat Shark goggles, when I use this, every time I feel that it's too close to my face and I can't focus clearly, sometimes I have to push it a bit forward and just keep on adjusting it. And after a couple of packs of battery, I already feel strain in my face and also in my eyes. And that's why we can't usually focus clearly with this, um, Fat Shark goggles. Whereas for this one, as soon as you put it over your head, 
you can see the screen very, very clearly. And the diopters with flex shot is not very good. It's plastic and you can't see clearly. And even with these diopters that I got from Banggood, it's made of, I think, glass or standard glass lens. Or, and it's very, very clear uh, every time I put on my face. In terms of weight, this is about 200 grams heavier than the flex shot goggles. But you must remember this one has a HD image re receiving system in the goggles. So it pro uh, the 200 grams probably uh, can be explained by the weight of that system in the goggles. This one, if you put on the fake shark or the shark bite modules in front of this um, HDR, I think you'll probably be the same weight as this uh, DJI FPV goggles. And also, this one has a better fan. And every time the lens starts to fall, the fan will turn on automatically. It doesn't stay on for the entire time. I think it turns off because I don't feel too much air flowing over my eyes. And my eyes don't okay. get dry. Um, so I can comfortably wear this for about an hour. Whereas the fan for this one blows really, really strong and it can dry out the eyes pretty quickly. In terms of um, comfort, this one put on too much strain on my eyes. This is very, very comfortable. So don't be swear by this form factor. Yes, I understand that this is the traditional analog uh, goggles and Fat Shark first came up with this. But since then, they never researched as to how to improve this form factor. With DJI goggles, this is I think the third generation of this FPV goggles. The first one was the white one that you can use with your Mavic uh, type of quad. And the second one was the uh, FPV goggles. And it was much bigger than this. So DJI has probably done some research. They, can, they have come up with the best form factor for the DJI FPV goggles. Initially, I was thinking of using this one, this form and this strap uh, to replace the original for face form and the fa uh, straps. But then when I opened this up, um, I noticed that this one will cover the nose area a lot. And also that this strap is not as flexible as this DJI goggle strap. So if the strap is not as flexible as this one and the form is not as comfortable, you are basically strapping the goggles onto your head this way and around this part. So you are basically replicating what you do with your fat shark goggles over your face. And this is going to put a lot of strain on your head because your head is basically supporting the whole weight of these goggles instead of some of the weight being taken out by the uh, elasticity of this strap. So I really like this DJI form factor, the casing and everything about it. I'm going to keep using the original face form and the original strap. So as to the question whether DJI will come up with a smaller casing, that one I'm not sure, sure unless they can find the proper spacing for between the lens and the screen to make it as comfortable as this one or they can reduce the size of the electronics inside and make this a bit lighter. I think that this form factor is pretty good. The only thing that they need to do is probably make this a bit lighter with uh, lighter electronics. Advancement in electronics manufacturing and, in, and also in technology they will probably be able to get this weight uh, down a bit more. And if they can get this slightly lighter, this will be a fantastic pair of goggles. But as it is, I do not have any complaints. And, and I find that this form factor is much, much better than the Fat Shark goggles, old fashioned. And it is, this is too old school. And there is not much development on this. 
So they're just trying to put different screen in, in the goggles instead of improving the form factor. I would say this is much better than Pesha type of uh, casing. So hope you guys like and enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Just remember quadcopter is not rocket science. See you next time.